So we're just freeing the part of the stomach we're going to remove. Bariatric surgery is underway at the University of Michigan Medical Center. A little over a year ago, Pam Heatley also underwent her bariatric procedure at the U of M and says it changed her life. I can walk all day long and my feet don't hurt. Um, my niece wants to go to an amusement park this summer and I'm going to go with her and I'm not just going to stand and watch her, I'll be on the rides. I just feel free. My life is mine again. At least in the state of Michigan, bariatric surgery is now remarkably safe. Dr. Nancy Berkmeyer from the University of Michigan and co-authors studied the outcomes of more than 15,000 bariatric surgery patients across the state of Michigan from 2006 to 2009. Low volume hospitals and surgeons had a serious complication rate of 4% compared to 2% for high volume surgeons and hospitals. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We found that there was no difference in rates of serious complications between centers of excellence and other hospitals. The 25 hospitals and 62 surgeons involved in the study were also part of the Michigan Bariatric Surgery Collaborative, a payer-funded clinical outcomes registry. They collect data on all of their bariatric surgery patients and um, meet three times each year to go over those data and to uh, plan quality improvement interventions. This study updates earlier ones that were based largely on hospital billing data, which researchers say is not very reliable when measuring surgical complications. With our study, we now have very strong evidence that bariatric surgery outcomes are related to procedure volume and are not related to centers of excellence status. This also gives patients food for thought when deciding on where to have the operation and who will operate. Patients should realize that centers of excellence have met uh, certain safety standards for bariatric hospitals, but that they are not necessarily the hospitals with the best outcomes. Pam Heatley was in the majority with a good outcome. It's not for everybody, but it has been a miracle for me. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.